Hey guys, today I'm going to show you guys how to use and work with a background worker. Now, first thing you want to do is open up Visual Basic here. Uh, go to your project and add a background worker. Now you can go to all Windows Forms or Components. And it should be the first one on both of those. So just double click on it. And over here we have a couple options you have worker supports progress you want that to be true and worker supports cancellation also check that to be true now whatever your fo whatever your project is since uh, I'm just going to show you an example of how to use it I'm going to just start a new project here and add a example so I'm going to add this a uh, button and name it go uh, add another button and name it cancel so it supports canceling um, add a label to show you guys a simple code that's just gonna count to 100 and a label that's gonna show the process that's gonna show the progress that it's at so once you're done with that click on go and type if background worker dot one dot is busy equals false then you're gonna type background worker one dot run worker async so if it's not busy then it's gonna run it but if it is it's not this is just to make sure there's no errors because if if there it is running then there's gonna be an error and your program is just gonna stop working for the user so after that you want to go to the background worker do work so this is gonna this is where you're gonna want to type the actual work now a background worker is very useful for if you're trying to let's say you're trying to download something from an FTP server a MySQL anything that's gonna take a little while to download uh, the whole program is just gonna freeze and you can't do anything until that's done and if you don't want that to happen then you should use a background worker it just looks very more professional and it just works better with programs so in the background worker in the do work you want to add dim worker uh, system dot component model dot background worker equals direct cast sender comma system dot component model dot background worker alright now I'm just add a simple code now I'm gonna just add a simple code uh, this is where you would this is where you would I insert your code to whatever you're trying to do but just for an example I'm going to show you something that would usually freeze up for i as integer equals 1 to 100 one sec sorry about that I forgot to add a equal um so now we're just gonna see if a cancellation is pending so if background worker one dot cancellation pending equals true then we're just gonna e dot cancel equals true and exit four. But if there's not a cancellation pending, then now we're gonna type in our code and we're gonna say worker dot report progress i comma i and progress alright now under
underneath that, we're just just so it doesn't jump all the way from one to a hundred. We're gonna just make the thread sleep. Sleep. So that's just gonna put. That's just gonna put some space between it. So now we're just gonna go to the progress changed right here and we're gonna add dim me progress bar dot value equals e dot per percent progress percentage and under that we're just gonna put me me dot label one dot text equals try cast E dot user state comma string. Now that's just gonna report all the progress to the label and progress bar. Now for the run worker completed, we're gonna say if one second if e dot canceled equals true, then message box canceled else if e dot error is not nothing then message box error else message box dot now that's just gonna say if it's canceled, then it's gonna, a message box is going to pop up saying canceled. If there's an error, the message box is going to pop up saying error. And if it's none of those two, then that must be that it's completed. The message box is going to say done. Now, we're going to click on the cancel. And this is the last code. Um, if background worker one dot, sub, dot worker supports cancellation equals true then the background worker is going to cancel its, its async and that's it now you can debug press go it's going to count you cancel it one second the canceling isn't working properly I put a minus sign instead of an equal sign. I have a habit of doing that. So you can just press go, cancel it, press go, and once it get once it gets to a hundred percent, it'll say done. So that's just how to quickly use a background worker it's very useful for anything that you might need that if you notice that it it your form lags or anything like that you can just put it into a, a background worker and run the sync and it will not lag it's multi-threading and it's very good for programs to make it look professional and sleek so this has been a video from code magic and see you in my next video